Each. They have one sniper rifle. Okay. Uh, you're tough. Crap. Where's this sniper rifle? Two, two attacking, one, the shock lance? Fine, you can have the shock lance. You guys want the shock lance? Have the shock lance. Get the hell out of here. I don't have time to deal with this. I don't, I don't have time. Uh, nope. Nope. There, if they want the shock lance, they can have the shock lance. I was hoping they'd flee on the first one. Where's Sleepy? Where is... You need to take Gojuice? Where's Gojuice? Inject Gojuice. Where's the sniper rifle? Everybody up. Everybody up. We need to get out of here. We need to go up and support Sleepy. Just in case. Uh, this path needs to be open. Kid, you stay inside. Schedule everyone to the safe zone. I was supposed to build a mortar. I should have built a mortar. They have one sniper rifle. Who's their sniper rifle user? You. 14 shooting. That sucks. Can we lure him into the boomalopes? Good call. Good call. We will do that. Holy crap. We, we, we did that much faster than I expected. Uh, nope. That's okay. So they have pathable targets in here. They can break some of the uh, nice beds. Whatever. Whatever. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Weapon here. Psycaster up front. No, it was a good idea. Doing the boom lopes was a good idea. But they exploded. That just what happens. I liked your idea. We couldn't execute it. Okay, when this gets... When we don't want to trade like this... Yeah, it's too many. It's too many. We just step back. We close up the doors. Now they're going to go attack random walls and doors. They're going to turn around. They're going to go attack random walls and doors. And then we will... Attack again. Okay, he's going to break in there. We're just going to let him back up. Clear out. And then we're going to step back and shoot him again. Because I don't want to trade with like 50 of them. We want to trade against like 3 of them. And anybody we really want to zap... Not right here. Go punch that guy. Use your masterwork belt. Yeah, shoot at the guy in the shield belt. Oh gosh, they're toxic. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh gosh. I forgot about those toxic trash. Get get out of the toxic. Get out of the toxic. Out of the toxic. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, let's go beat him up. As they're split up. So the plan was... We have all these walls and stuff. Oh, they're going to blow up the masterwork beds. Whatever. We'll make more. They're cheap. That was easy. We just beat them up when they're alone. We got a guy over alone. He's closer. But I am I am worried about this. The toxic build-up stuff. Yeah, go out here. Grab them. <laughs> so this is the... You would do this with double thick stone walls, and it's way better. But as you can tell, this plan is uh, quite good. It's a lot easier to beat enemies one at a time than...
and they're fleeing. We lost the masterwork beds. No big deal. And we let them rip a bit in the face, but that's okay. Schedule everybody nearby. We got to remake a bunch of beds. Don't destroy that bed anymore. Uh, come put out that fire, and we're fine. Let's do a health check real quick. Good work. Did they build us any mortars? No, but we can afford mortars. And they give us a bunch of mortar shells. Uh, yeah, keeping mortar shells safe is going to be a big pile up. Awful. In an all wooden base. Um... I really... You need to go buy, back and buy that shock lance. You need a shock lance. The shock lance makes him immune to enemies. As you saw when they were like, give us your stuff or fight. It was like, fine. Give the shock lance or give him the shock lance. We'll just give him the shock lance. But if you get attacked and you're not given an offer, you can just zap the people with a shock lance. So we'll go buy our shock lance. We'll haul in all this stuff. Shame we couldn't find any prisoners, but it's hard to fight on no pause and see what's all the stuff going on. Lots of good loot. Haul in. A plus. Well done. I need to make mortar places. We need to make mortar shells safe in our all wooden base. Uh, I guess like this. Guess we'll do that. I don't know. How many types of mortar shells? We got toxic shells? Whatever. We got some incendiaries. That's good. We got three more mortar barrels. And we, they gave us an out. Look at that. We sent the caravan and that dropped our wealth and it came right back up. <laughs> From all these survival meals, mortar barrels, components. Okay. That's good. Yeah, everybody's fine. I think you already had that. That worked out. That was scary. But we were lucky they got angry on the first hit. We were ready to cast Psycast. We had Go Juice. Oh, uh, what's this chart? Is that just your wealth? Yes. So the game, uh, if you on the bottom bottom bar, there's this book button. It's the history tab. You can click that. And this shows your wealth over time. So there's a wealth of your colony over time. These red dots at the top correspond to major threats. So anytime you get like raids or manhunter packs, it goes up here. Uh, at this point in time, you saw I got lots of major threats. I was testing a storyteller. It sent a lot of major threats. It sent too many. And then I turned it down a little bit and I tested a different storyteller right here. It sent too few. And I gave up, and we're now playing on Randy. So this is Randy Random from here to here. So that's the history of Mech Cluster, Psychic Ship, Raid, Raid, Raid. Where's, like, the Manhunter Pack? Manhunter Pack. This is how my wealth has gone up over time. You can sort it by, like, last 30 days. So in the last 30 days, we had Manhunter Pack, Mass Animal Insanity, then a Raid. And a while ago, we had Mech Cluster Manhunter Pack. And you can see my wealth dropped down when the caravan left with lots of money. And then this siege gave us a bunch of money right back. You can also hit the Statistics tab. And you can see your wealth broken down into stuff. And you can see lots of numbers. And on the Message tab, you can find letters that you closed. So if you get raided and you're like, wait a minute, is that a Breacher or a Sapper raid? What kind of raid is it? You can just go back and look real quick on the Message tab. And there's Messages too. But the game largely scales the difficulty based on wealth. 
So I want to have as much of our wealth in useful stuff and not useless garbage as possible. Because this is a crazy, crazy, crazy high difficulty and we only have wooden walls. So anything we're not using, we're going to immediately send out and then trade it for useful stuff. And we just use this guy's shock lance. So let's buy him a new shock lance. Put on a shock lance. That makes you immune. Okay, now you can go check this one. Because that's going to restart. Show what we'll buy. Restocks in 2.9 days. You'll get there in 1.1. Okay, go over here. 2.1. Go over there. And you can click on these and you hit show what we'll buy. And it tells you they restock every 30 days. So we just visited this one. It's going to restock and have new stuff in 28.9 days. Settling near several purple houses is very strong. They sell, they sell stuff and they start friendly. Sidecasts are back. Got new psychic power ready to go. Let's put it on... I was going to put it on Cam... Cambrala, the tough. I was supposed to put it on Banzo, but they're, they're out in the world. We'll just level up Combra instead. Uh, and then we need to start hauling in this stuff. Raven Moonstar, hello again. We're having fun. I am going to stretch for a bit. I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to stand up for a bit. I'll be back in about a minute. The game's still going to keep playing. I'll give a recap of what's gone down so far. Be back in a second. I'm back. We're continuing the all wooden base. We are very slowly, overall, working towards moving our base just a little bit up higher. And the reason we want to move it up higher is so we can use this body of water and marsh as a defense. So we're moving everything a little bit up. And since everything's wood and cheap, that's not so hard to do. So we've cleared out lots of the stone here. Now we're starting to set this up. Sleepy has grown up, but they got greedy. Ritter grew up, and they are quick sleeper, fast walker, tough. We saved Cindy Morrison. We saved her from, like, 40 manhunting bunny rabbits as a three-year-old, and we're hoping to get her all grown up to somebody else amazing. Rumshackle's got side cast, but they're all useless. We've defeated a mech cluster. We defeated a siege. We unleashed 80 wolves to take out the mech cluster. We got Grimdark, a masterwork belt. Uh, we just, just, just had a siege. We need to clean this up. Uh, we made some extra masterwork beds outside real quick. They blew them up, but that's okay. Rumshackle is production specialist. He can make more. Everything's going very, very, very well. So the plan, set up the water defenses, destroy this, and remake it. 
move the base up here. So the base is going to sort of be like this. We're still meditating at the tree. We got lots of trebles. And make a water defense up. Things are going super, super, super well. Uh, yeah, let's let's just get people haul on these. I could do like a caravan trick and make somebody pick up tons of it, but that's okay. Can I get you to do multiple of those? Yes, I can. Oh, that one's way up there, though. Trying to get her to grab all three. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's get people with decent mood and go haul these out of here. Get rid of the body. Good work. Okay, we got most of the most valuable stuff. We have safely secured the mortar shells. <laughs> as safely as we can. Let's get... Uh, as safely as we can... Make some mortars. We want them fairly close to the mortar shells so they don't have to walk too far. But we want them decently far apart so things don't, you know, like catastrophically burn down with all our wood. And we're adding roofs for fire protection that kills all the vegetation. And I've enclosed the mortar in walls to help with chain explosions. And also, so if like scatter drop or drop raids or enemies get inside, they won't be able to see the mortars directly. So hopefully we can keep our mortars alive by walling them in like this. And we'll put, hopefully we'll get some other shells around too. But really we mostly just need the mortar shells for angering other sieges. Oh, we definitely need explosives for killing mortars. Um, uh, Sorry, mech cluster mortars. And anything else scary from a mech cluster? Yeah, we'll need to reorganize the base. I need to have my short-range weapons and bolt actions ready at hand. So let's make some shelves for guns. Link. Important. Weapons. Ranged. Not grenades. Grenades go safely there. Because we're not going to store... Grenades in our all wooden base. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's so many corpses to clean up. Oh, gosh. Don't, don't do that. We need to just burn all this. Gar I, I unforbid everything. And that means there's tons of stuff for them to clean up. Yikes. Escanor, I'm afraid it's getting quite late, so I'm going to call it a night. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good one. Hopefully the base doesn't burn down too many times while you're gone. But hopefully it does burn down a little bit. We want, we want some fun stuff. We want some action. Oh. Rose on the ambrosia so they automatically harvest it. And I don't want them to come out here and do trees. We got plenty of trees at home. Did I get it all? See any more hiding outside? Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, see, double click, double click to check. We got them all. Send in the tribal pyromaniac faction that have all the Molotovs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're, we're the imps. <laughs> the imps are terrifying. Oh, 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 we need to open this back up. And we need to make more. Is that a tox bomb launcher? Bio coated. Yeah, okay, cut more trees. Okay, you can get the scythers, that's fine. I've unrestricted everybody, and there's like a million animal corpses and stuff around. We need to blow it all up. 
Let's get Morrison doing his childly duties of exploding corpses. Let's get rid of all these bodies. None of them have any, like, backpack things. Uh, smoke pop belt. Yeah, we want a smoke pop belt. Yeah, move that away. We don't care about the other stuff. The, the equipment like that doesn't taint, so you can use that forever. There we go. Just get rid of all the bodies. Excellent work, Morrison. Put your gun back on. What bodies? Exactly. Corpse removal complete. Childly duties. Yeah, so much stuff to do. Don't grab stupid turtles. There's all these corpses they're getting. We need to watch where they where they go and stuff. Uh, you need to stay nearby, actually, Morrison. You stay in here. I interrupted his learning, but that's okay. Not ideal. Good. Hauling limestone, cleaning dirt. Good. Hauling getting paid for. Good. They're not hauling corpses anymore. That's what I want. Uh, can I get rum shackle on bed stuff again? We'll make the beds inside this time. Because so we're learning. Caravan arrived. Psycast. Berserk! Berserk! We can't afford it. That's fine. We'll come back with more money. Uh, can I, can I afford it? If I give them some stuff? No. I'd have to sell the donkey. Okay. No big deal. They have Berserk. We'll go... We have tons of loot right here. Whatever clothes and weapons we're not using, we'll, we'll get rid of them. Yeah. We'll get Rum Shackle making stuff. We have all this wolf leather and stuff, too. Tons of extra pemmican. Yeah, we got tons and tons and tons of wealth to get rid of. So we'll come back, stock up on junk, do another haul. Uh, can you, yeah, just come make bets. I want to just make sure you make them. Yeah, yeah, we, we are, we're going to, we, masterworks are easy. No big deal, one got destroyed. You know, just call it a day. Bring this in. Oh, oh, that's all deteriorating. Come grab this cotton. Everybody grab cotton. Team hauling. Pen not enclosed. Ah. I've learned my lesson of just putting the fence directly in front of the door. Oh, that... That's not who I wanted to make beds. That's okay. Good. 
Good. Smelt the junk. Smelt the bio-coated. Turn this off. Oh, you can't cut because oh, the thing doesn't work. We'll need some more power. There we go. Auto cut. Cut now. Monkey self-tamed. Fine. Monkey, come inside. We will train up a combat monkey. Stop cutting these plants and go cut those, please. I cut all the ones inside. Especially the ones are in the tree. Go frenzy. Oh, yeah. Symbol of Avarice. I guess construction bots are really nice for roofing the auto mortars. Yeah, exactly. Have you considered giving an alpaca for trade running? I have purchased a donkey for trade running. So the big benefit of using a donkey is it's both a pack and a riding animal. So we can ride it and we caravan much faster. The perfect caravan animal is just a horse. Uh, but we, we happened to find somebody who had donkeys for sale. Or maybe they were wild. Can donkeys appear on the jungle? I can't remember. But either way, we got a donkey. Or I think they we had two self-tame. We had two donkeys, like farm animals, arrive. So we got donkeys. And I sold one of them. So we're using donkeys for the caravan animal. Uh, alpacas you cannot ride. And we don't really carry much stuff. For, for this crazy, crazy high difficulty, uh, it's important to have one person caravans and a non-combat animal and low wealth. If we only have little tiny caravans and low wealth, we'll only get one enemy attacking us or possibly two naked enemies with ni ni knives or clubs. So by keeping super, super, super tiny, we don't get attacked much. And if we do get attacked, a shock lance can beat it all. If we send two people, then there can be, like, two scary raiders with, like, gojus and guns and stuff, possibly. But that only applies on 500% difficulty. On lower difficulties, you can bring more stuff. Oh, 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 I don't have the bot on. Sorry. So somebody was asking about Huntsman. Let me, let me turn on the bot for you. Sorry about that. I, I hate... Exorus Huntsman Hawk, uh, please send me dead Huntsman pictures. Huntsman is one of the pre-purchased characters in the game, and you'll randomly see him quite a bit. And if you see Huntsman, please kill them and PM me pics. Yeah, there, sorry. Turn on the bot. So now it works. I forgot. Yeah, I was supposed to be making a... I was going to make the Huntsman video right now, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather play Rip World. So we're doing that. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's sell a bunch of this stuff. I would rather just have the silver caravan makes it easier uh we are getting low on food we have 1500 this but we don't have any vegetables okay a batch of corn is coming in you can replant that corn we'll just have that field of corn going we need more trees Predators? Any predators? Nope. So we're going to take that silver and whatever other junk we have that these guys weren't weren't buying. And we will go... Oh, oh, oh. Somebody can move Kimbala to the excellent bed. 
to the master workbed, excuse me. No more excellent bed for you. I'll watch to make sure Vasilo doesn't make those beds. Minor break risk, Banzo. On the caravan. More trees. Caravan's back. Banzo, Banzo. Did you grab the donkey? You grab the donkey. So we're going to have Banzo come back, take a break. I guess we need to take some time to refill up some stuff. Okay, good. I can find the weapons more easily. I need an EMP. We need to make some high explosive shells. Uh, we need a biofuel refinery. We need to get chem fuel, or I can get some boomalopes. If we get a taming thing, we will tame a boomalope. I think it'd be awesome just to have a Doomalope, a Boomalope, a Doomalope in the all-wooden base. Oh, Vasilo, you weren't supposed to make that bed. Whatever. Leave the excellent bed. So we got one extra Masterwork bed around. Perfect. And an extra excellent. Uh, turn this off. Move this art back here. Get rid of these tables for now. I don't want you guys accidentally eating there and not somewhere useful. Uh, oh yeah, back to making this. We'll make some clothes first, actually. We'll get... Rum Shackle to make clothing... Leader, you've got a visage mask. You need a hat and clothing. You're the moral guide. You're good. You need a shirt. So we need some shirts. You get me three parkas. Three, I'm sorry, three dusters. Wolf dusters. We should go blow up all those bodies. Thrombos, we don't we don't kill thrombos. We respect them. At least in these runs. Uh, let's just tell Rumshackle to start crafting. We have the monkey trained. Monkey, follow Kimbala, sure. If it dies, it dies, whatever. <laughs> Good, mortars secured. Do until I have 10 high explosives. Yes, 15. Okay, we have enough mortar shells to anger an enemy a siege, which is good. But we do need enough to destroy mech clusters. Good. Rum Shackle is crafting now. Am I going to preload the mortars? That's a good idea. Um, yeah. Good call. That's what I have for now, so let's do that. Mm. 
Mole Skin Duster Masterwork. I think, yeah, it'll just be enough for our shirt. So I'm going to wait till all this clothing is made, and then we're going to take uh, Bands out and go back out, and we're going to go buy Berserk over there. Turn more useless garbage into useful items. Where are we at? We're 74. That's too much. So we used a shock lance. We bought a shock lance. So that trip was sort of neutral. Jake Quarters, thank you for following. Still, still aspiring to move the base up there and get this defense made. So much stuff to do. But I'm happy to have mortars that we can't defeat a mech cluster with them. We got Raven, Rock and Armor, Rumshackle, Rock and Armor. Soil, Satter subscribed. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mechs. Multi-angle, prepare for a while. Got it. Everybody stay inside. Thank you for subscribing with Prime. I'm panicking. We have mechs. And what we also have is Thrombo Defenders. Oh my god, there's so many mechs! Look how many mechs we have to deal with. It's insane. We really need to get rid of all the wealth on the map. All our wealth. Digwood is raiding. Thank you. Uh, I'm kind of in a crisis at the moment. But we are being raided in our all-wooden base with a giant pile of mechs. And we have an all-wooden base. I think I just repeated that. So this is going to be a lot of fun. My plan is to anger a giant herd of thrombos and pray they don't kill us. Oh, I did not want him to hit all the traps. The monkey is too stupid. Good. That one's in. Fine. They can beat up one wall. Everybody stay inside. Good. So we've closed off all the walls and doors. Thrombos are fighting mechs. Mechs will fight their thrombos. Let's go anger that one. Uh, you guys don't need to be here. Just bring you. Bring you. So as long as they're up and uh, at him, that's good enough. Can we do the door trick on him? Uh, he's not standing in front of the door. Okay, good, good. Come down, come down. Door trick it, door trick it. Oh, get out of the way. Nice, nice, nice. We door tricked it. See, the door closed. It's just angry. Uh, where's a nearby herd of stuff? Anything else I can anger? There's elephants way down there. I could mortar them. Okay. Uh, we're going to switch to short-range weapons. And our plan is to let the mechs attack random walls and doors. And then we pick a mech that is alone. And we attack it. No, that's bolt action. Get me a chain shotgun. Uh, you have bolt action. You have bolt action. We don't have any other short-range weapons. That's bio-coded. Uh, whatever. Okay. So we have wooden walls, mechs attack random walls and doors, we attack mechs that are alone. The mechs are going to weaken themselves on the thrombos, hopefully. Good, it's raining so the fire won't do as much. But we have lots and lots of mechs to deal with. We'll see how this goes. I have burden, I don't have the ability to call allies. I have shock lances and insane lances. I need to use them. I'm just thinking of all the, the crazy techniques I have to possibly survive. Uh, I outrange everything, don't I? How many pikemen are here? Just one pikeman. So I can just bolt action kite too. But I think I think the ambush tactic will be good. Good. They're cleaning up tons. Digwood, that thrombo strat is big brain. Free thrombo meat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of wealth, though. I actually may just burn them. Oh, oh, good, good, good. We accidentally walked in to be pathable. So we've delayed these mechs a bit. 
Good. Mechs got delayed. I want that. I want that. So I already have too much wealth. I had brought back in a caravan for a second. And was about to send it re back out. Can, can I hit this guy? This one's alone. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Mech down. Though it hit a trap. Let's get this. Um. Okay, so they have no targets. They should attack random walls and doors. When they attack random walls and doors, we attack ones that are alone. Anybody see any herd of animals nearby? I can't make them angry. They're too far away. Oh, crap. Crap, they're breaking the door. They saw me go in. That's not good. Oh, crap. They... No, we have to just fight this. This is not... This is not good. You need to go in. Get, get into melee. Get into melee. Death. The kid just died. Oh, crap. They saw me... They saw me walk through the door, and the enemies bashed the door. That's really bad. Death sleepy. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I just lost the most important person. Oh, so so my mistake there was when I went outside the door and I ran back in, they can bash the door that I broke through. So that was that was my mistake there. So I let them bash the door and now they can see targets and now I'm fighting all of them at the same time instead of fighting small groups. Uh, I think this base is lost, and I think I need to caravan off the map. I lost Vaslo too. Yeah, the mistake was coming back out. Yeah, I should have. I should have just stayed there and blocked the door or whatever, or at least made sure the door closed. If that door would have closed, seriously, and now I get sleeping sickness. Okay, how how are you guys on mood and stuff and food? Uh, eat. Eat, take yeah, yo. Eat, take yeah, yo. Eat, take yeah, yo. So we are... We just need to caravan and get off the map. So... Uh, health check real quick. Uh, Grim Dark. He's bleeding. You tend them. And tend them. Uh, Rum Shackle, you're fine. So, let me make sure there's only one caravan spot. We need to form a caravan somewhere the mechs aren't going to see us, and then we need to see the line off the map and do that. So, form caravan, bring nothing, nothing, just so we can carry, rum shackle, go. Okay, so he should, he should stand around here, and then he's going to draw the line to the exit. Good. So, that's my exit point. I need to just get everyone over there. Do you have go juice? Take go juice. Oh, you overdosed. Seriously? Ser it was a it was a zero point five percent chance of overdose, and he overdosed. And it canceled the caravan. Great. And Kambala also overdosed. Okay. Uh, Grim Dark. I need to reform the caravan. <laughs> uh, Grim Dark bring nothing. Go up. Go go left. Actually, go go there. Grim Dark bring nothing. Go. So wander, wander, wander. They wander around the spot, and then they draw the line. Okay, the line is to there. No, we don't want there. Cancel forming caravan. We need the line going up. Grim dark. Bring nothing. Thank you for following. Does someone have the club? Yes. Good call. But the Jade Club is replaceable. There, there, there. Now we're going to the correct direction. Add to caravan. Add to caravan. Load, load, load. Uh you're overdosing. You're not overdosing, carry. Let's see if we can get off the map. Nope.
You're not on Go Juice. Uh, Max are coming slowly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Poor donkey. Good call. Can I add the the donkey? Okay, no, no, no. It it will. We we'd have to wait for it to get to the edge. Just if everybody gets to the edge of the the map, it should just leave. Okay. Another uh, wooden base gone. Oh, so unfortunate. So, it has been zero base. Yeah, run is saved. Run is saved. We got, we got people off the map. So I can resettle again. So the mistake I made was uh, if enemies see you go through a door, they can bash randomly two to five times to destroy it. And this wall right here, this wall is the only wall... That is single thick. I have two layers everywhere else. This is the only one that was single thick. So when that one went down, I, I didn't... I needed to have finished these things. When that one went down, like, they were in the base and we were fighting. And fighting on no pause is really tough. I tried to use the shock lance. It wasn't fast enough. We weren't able to grab much stuff and much medicine. But we have high skills and high plants. So we should be good. So we're going to find a new flat map space and go and keep going. Uh, let's see who we got left. Uh, let, let me see. Is there any way I can... No, the mechs are going to last forever. So let's just abandon this. Let's see who we have. Oh, we got sleeping sickness. Oof, oof, oof. Sleeping sickness, but we did have the doctor. Uh, we got Kambala, who we just got. Plants. Oh, no, no, this is Grim Dark. I'm sorry. This is Grim Dark. This is the person with the Jade Club, Brawler, Nimble. They're the doctor, but they got sleeping sickness. We got Kambala. They're brand new. Night Owl Tough. Don't have construction plants. That's not great. Ritter. Ritter was a kid. They're amazing. Quick sleeper, fast walker, tough. Don't have construction plants. And Rumshackle is our production specialist. But he just lost his wife. So we lost Sleepy, the leader. My favorite colonist. We lost the wife. Oof. And the wooden base burned down because I messed up. That's okay. Uh, we only have three days of food. We need to settle somewhere. I don't know. I think this spot's fine. Because, you know, who cares about the stone types? Uh, yeah. We... Could we reset out one of the complexes? Uh, I don't know how that works exactly. I know with raid tiles, it calculates stuff differently. And that's kind of cheesy. I want to do... I want to do a normal base. So who is the most useful person? I think I need to bring, like, everybody on a tile. Let's go closer to there. We'll, we'll, we'll settle in the day. Okay, we'll settle in the day on that one. I need to settle as soon as possible. And I need to start making beds and stuff. And food. So we need to get going. Uh, split. Oh, hold on one second. I need to pause. I paused. I'm cheating. I'm turning off my progress renderer mod. Which takes screenshots every day. So I can do the progress videos. Okay, so unpause. Split. Is there a reason I'm settling in a rainforest? I think that's the best balance of my base can potentially burn down and there aren't a billion trees. Uh, it's fun. It's a little hard. Uh, this is like my third attempt at the run. And as I lose, I like uh, make it a little easier this each time. I don't want to go to like perma summer temperate forest quite yet. So let's... We barely have anything. So yeah, just, just grim dark settle. Let's see if this map isn't terrible. We're looking for a fertile soil in the middle of the map. We're looking for kind of just empty, flat, flat, empty, middle of the map. Hopefully near fertile soil, the anima tree, geothermals. Anima tree is way to the side. 
But there's lots of stuff here. We need to at least... Uh... Settle here and make a shack. Because we're dying of sleeping sickness. Okay, you're not dying of sleeping sickness, but... Are you major break risking? No. Other people are. Uh, rum shackle and... Okay, we don't have any food. You guys just have to come. Yeah, come come do stuff. Uh, we, we got a cook still. We have one constructor. Only one person can do plants. We could get another one if we drop rum shackle's production specialist. But I don't want to do that. We just need to get in the shack. Oh, man. We were doing so well. Uh, don't meditate. Don't meditate. We need to work. Masterwork bed. Uh, Rumshackle, you need to keep making stuff. There's a panther. Oh, when you got a bolt at you got a shotgun. Oh crap. We don't even have a bolt actions. There's probably not steel right here. We have two people who can sort of mine. We're going to need to deal with that panther. Uh, yeah, let's just escort the panther away for now. So if you shoot nearby, animals flee gunfire. Don't accidentally hit it, so just place whatever nearby. Shoot, and it'll run. Let's go escort the panther away. There we go. Thank you. And did I miss one? We can place another one, double-click it. There we go. It was right there. Rumshackle, you can't do anything. Who can do plants? The person... Grimdark, you can do plants. I need you to do plants. You're bed resting because you have sleeping sickness. Okay, that's fine. Just first, cut down a bunch of trees. Rumshackle, make a bed. Uh, did we... Did we put everything down up here? Did they just drop stuff on the ground, wherever? Is it in, in somebody's inventory? Where's all the stuff we have? We have, like, three T. We need to give Rumshackle the T. Because he's gonna mentally break, because his wife just died. You witnessed two allies' death. Yeah, yeah. You're really unhappy. I need to set you to triphasic schedule. For increased mood and reduced productivity. So we need to keep him, hopefully, from mentally breaking. Night Owl and Daytime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ritter. You're gonna make it. You got Triphasic. We need a table. Oh, uh, if we would've had that Berserk Psychast, we would've at least had a chance. <laughs> we would've had Stone Walls. We would have had a chance. <laughs> and make some bills. Don't go very far. Unpause at three. Drop on the ground. Cook meat first. Do, do, do. There we go. Uh, Ritter. Ritter, come. Come cook. Oh, no, no. Don't cook yet. Uh, don't cooking outside is bad. No, no, no. Don't don't cook outside. Sorry. False alarm. Grimdark, you need to cut more trees. Now, 
Oh. We had one wall. One wall that was one thick. And I messed up right there. Oh well. Okay, it's inside. D&D boy, is this a logging camp? Uh, the base burned down. <laughs> I I messed up. Uh, a huge huge horde of mechs came at the worst possible time. I messed up. They broke in in the worst possible spot. Uh, a bunch of people died. There were like 30 mechs. It must have been a high roll, and we were bloated on wealth at the time. But I got people off the map alive. So that's what matters. Uh, we need somebody to be the moral guide. And to have minus 12 mood. Who can afford minus 12 mood? Nobody. Uh, Grimdark, how is your sleeping sickness going? It's fine. Grimdark... Grimdark's lover died, Basilo. Rumshackle's wife died, Basilo. They're both unhappy. <laughs> Same person died. We need we need to get food. There. Butcher creature do forever. Uh berries, berries. Where's some berries? Just don't let them compare notes. Exactly. We need to uh, have them both, you know, sleeping together in this little tiny shack to get over it. That's that's a recipe for success. Well, good thing we scared away the panther however far we could. Somebody gonna shoot it? Well, food delivered. Oh, there's a social fight. Yeah, get that built. Get this. Uh, so we have Kimbala, Ritter, Rumshackle, and Grimdark. Okay. You need to move that up to count meals. So do we want to settle on this one? The tree is... Ooh. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let me make a quick progress renderer setup. Uh, sixty-four by what is nine times four? Thirty-six. So just to have it going. So I'm going to options. Turn back on progress renderer. So it's only going to take screenshots in this little area. Yeah, Raven Moonstar. Maybe settle here to recover some and then possibly move elsewhere. I think that's the plan. I think that's a good idea. I think what I'm going to do is uh, make this room a little bigger for room. So we'll get a bigger room. That way we'll get, like, a not an awful barracks, you know? We'll get all those mood bonuses. We will build up some food. We'll check some of the map tiles around here. We'll see if they're nicer. And if this one's the nicest, we'll stay here. This huge pile of fertile soil is nice. It being big and open is nice. The tree's not great. If the tree was here, like, it just was a little closer to the middle, 
I would certainly be doing it. The tree, I think the tree can't be in the middle. The ad adaption factor, yeah, the adaption factor certainly bottomed out because we just got everybody killed. <laughs> but, so that's a thing. Yep. But we still have four people, so, so currently our raid points, we can calculate them exactly. We can actually calculate our exact raid points right now. So we have below 14,000 wealth. Uh, we have four colonists. Each colonist is worth 15 points. Ritter is 14, so they're worth like about half. So 15, 45. And this one's worth, let's say, 8. So 53. 53 times 4 is 200. And then uh, for the adaption factor, it'd be times 75. So what would that be? What is 200? 200 times 7, uh, 0.75? 150. So I'm guessing we have about 150 raid points. Let's check. Let's see how good my math is. Turn on development mode. We'll turn on write storyteller. Uh, write storyteller. Base points. Base points. 209. Okay. Uh, our adaption factor, it is bottomed out. Uh, ah, we're, we're, it's a little higher than I thought. Okay, we're at 209, not 150. That's okay. Still pretty low. I forgot, we're, we do get a little from being over 10,000. And how is your sleeping sickness doing? Good. Good. I don't need you guys bed resting all the time. So let's turn off bed rest on everybody. And I need somebody to be the moral guide. Night Owl. Recluse. Are you getting any bonuses from Recluse? Your rival Morrison died. He hated the four-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah, take the rocks up there. Let's get him out of the way. Um, Jake quarters plus four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Recluse in the small group. Yeah, but we're gonna have more. I don't know if I want to make him the bonker. Your lover died, your friend died. Do I want to give them minus 12 mood? I need to give somebody it. You have catharsis. Your friend died. Hmm. I think Ritter's got the most mood, so we're going to give it to Ritter for now. And let's, let's just increase the size of the base. That's fine. Yeah, that's 12 inside. Cut all the plants down right there. Yeah, just hose down everything, please. Get these out. Expand the home area. Minor break risk times three, I bet. Can't imagine why everybody's so unhappy. Uh, let's start training somebody on plants. Okay, you all stink at it. Fine, just if you did nothing to do, try, try learning how to do plants. Good, good, good masterwork. We're working on it. We're working on it. There we go. 
And just to make sure we're living dangerously, let's just make a wooden floor. Get me some spike traps. And some torches. Do the torch first, because you're working in the dark. Working in the dark has penalties. Mm -mm -mm. Well, insulting spree. Yep, can you go to bed? Nice. Nice, he went to bed. Insulting spree over. Uh, we need some more food real quick. Get Grimdark on it. Make some more berries, please. D&D &D boy, so you make smoke seem semi-effective. Um, uh, is standing in smoke generally desirable? No. Uh, if the shot goes through smoke at any point in time, it has a huge penalty. Whether you're in smoke, whether you're shooting into smoke, or whether there's smoke in between, doesn't matter, it's all the same. But smoke has a giant penalty towards accuracy, and it applies to pretty much everybody. I mean, conceivably, like, if you have troops here, and there's troops on the left and the right, like, if, you have, if you're one group and there's two separate groups of enemy, you could smoke one and then fight the other, and this one has a penalty. But that's pretty much the only situation. The big use of smoke is that turrets cannot see through smoke. So when you have a mech cluster, you can just smoke so the turrets can't see you, and then you just clean it up real easy. Can you knock down these walls so we're in one big room, please? Good work. This room is mediocre, much better than awful. Yep, bring in the berries so Ritter can cook again. How are these? Let's make sure Grim Dark does it because he's the only one with any skill. Working at night kind of stinks, but we're, you know, desperate times, desperate measures, and all that. Hopefully, Randy goes nice on us. Oh, man. So many hopes and dreams dashed because I messed up. I liked Sleepy so much, and Vasilo is so good. Rapcure, thank you for following. <laughs> Poor Morrison, we sur we saved him from a bunch of bunnies, and they, they fell. Did we lose anybody else, or was it just those three? Did we have seven people, or did we have eight? It was Vasilo, the original colonist, Rumshackle's wife, the undergrounder, it was Sleepy, who the child we raised. Uh, and who is the favorite colonist who got the greedy, but they're still really good. And it was Morrison, the kid we had just saved. Was there one more? Uh, who is the person who we were sending out? It was Basra. Banzo, Banzo. Yeah, Banzo. Beam to death, shot to death, shot to death, shot to death, shot to death. Yep. Decent barracks. Much better. There will be angry bunnies again. Yeah, probably. Probably. Can you make a stove so we don't have a campfire? Can I do funerals here?
We can. Begin funeral for Banzo. Let's give it a try. Ritter offered thoughts on what happens after death. You join the Jade Club. Good funeral. Awesome. Uh, we can't do any others? Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, load bills, meals for five, infinite pemmican, infinite tea. I am using a mod, save storage, uh, because the base is going to burn so many times. Uh, for my sanity, I can reload the bills really fast. There we go. Get the lights up. Good. Get Ritter cooking. We have food. We have shelter. We're getting mood vaguely under control. Rum Shackle doesn't have anything to do. We need to get you... Okay. Cut down trees, everybody. Just cut down any trees. Anything at 100% there. How are Sleeping Sickness doing? How is Sleeping Sickness doing? Totally fine. We don't have any medicine, which is problematic. What is that zone you put up? I just put up a big growing zone. So any... And I disabled sowing. Any plant at 100% in the growing zone automatically get harvested. That includes trees, heel root, ambrosia, whatever. So rather than using this tool, I just find it easier to... un check and uncheck the box when I want wood. So I just make a big rowing zone and they just get trees automatically. See, they're cutting down all the trees at just at the ones at 100%. So any trees not at 100%, like this one, they'll let grow to full. And the reason for that is a tree that is at 66% grown. 66% uh, grown only gives 50% of the wood. So it's kind of like we're sowing and letting the trees all grow in. In a jungle, it doesn't really matter. This is just my habit of I'm just so used to just having a grow zone that I can toggle on and off when I want wood and not get wood. There isn't really uh, on a tundra or on an arid shrubland or on a desert. This is a big deal and you absolutely should do this and you get tons more wood if you want wood. On a jungle, it doesn't matter. This isn't gaining me anything or efficiency. It's just the habit I am in. Yeah, go grab more berries. Uh Yeah, they're they're mowing down more trees. This is now impressive. <laughs> Leskowitz says, I wish my wife could toggle on and off when she wanted wood. It's a good skill to have. I know when the firewood gets low, sometimes you gotta do that type of thing. Let's get some wooden research benches done just to have stuff around when we have nothing to do. Yeah. What were we researching? Microelectronics. Let's get a table up there. Does everybody have clothes? You don't have a shirt. Okay, stop doing that. Uh, how far away is the fertile soil? It's down here. We need drugs and heal root. Plant heal root. Plant Psychite. Psychite. Plant a tiny bit of smoke leaf. So many silly masterworks. Okay, we need to roof all this. Build a roof. Yes. Cut tree. Uh, let's make some shelves. What 
whatever. I don't care. Just make a bunch of shelves. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll get all that heal root planted and stuff. Let's go check out a nearby map tile. Uh... From the ashes. Let's get Ritter. Oh, you're the bonker. Let's get Kimbala. Kimbala. Let's go check out... Like, right there. See if we can go find a better map. So we're looking for a huge pile of flat map like this, fertile in the middle. If this tree was just a little closer, this one would be perfect. We'll see if we can do better on an R map. There's also not quite an ideal lake to make our defenses on. That one's right next to the soil. I guess we could do it up down. We could do it this way. I could have the defenses here. Yeah, maybe maybe we will use this map. Yeah, I think this one this one's really really good. I just thought maybe we could find better. This is a huge pile of stuff. We can get the rings of walls in. I can start with the actual defenses right away. Man, if I would have gotten those defenses down faster. Ah, oh, just those few tiny mistakes. The tiny mistakes of letting the mechs in last time. That one door thing. Just wood breaks so fast. You just made a legendary shelf. Great. Uh, we'll wait till the day to settle. Are there any other predators here? Nope. You can go hunt alpaca or pigs. Well, there's nothing to do. Uh, disallow rotten only fresh corpses. Yes. We're waiting for the day. Rim dark. Any berries? We need big piles of berries. Yeah, let's go get some more berries with you. Oops, oops, oops. Um, yeah, you're going at night. I don't care. Shouldn't go at night, but we're doing it. And he's got sleeping sickness. That's right. It's catching up. Get all of them? Yeah, get all of them. Let's get you resting a bit, Grim Dark. Did I send the person who has sleeping sickness out on the map? Yes, I did. That's not great. Okay, let's check this one. That tree is also a little far away. Yeah, the other one's better. That's huge. Okay. Yep, we'll use the other one. The other one's really good. I won't keep looking around.
Yeah, no big deal. There's a billion ancient dangers. Who cares if we just close it on this one? Okay. Uh, I think this is a good break point for me. This was a lot of fun. The base burned down once. We will rebuild. I'll uh, remap up a bigger area for the thing to record. We'll plan out the base. We'll make wooden defenses probably here. Aiming down. We'll try to get better defenses up right away. Thank you a ton for hanging out with me. Beside the base burned down. No one, no one could have predicted the all wooden base would have burned down. But I had fun. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Have a good night, everybody.